I wanted to get a sense of where Metro Detroit stands on trick-or-treating this year. So we put out a poll to our WDIV insiders on ClickOnDetroit.com, and their responses were interesting. First, will you be handing out candy? 47% say yes, 52% say no. The no's get even louder on the question of trick-or-treating this year. 61% say no, 38% say yes. So now the big question is, how do you celebrate Halloween safely? Steve Garagiola consulted with the real experts. Steve? When our kids were young, Halloween was as big a celebration as Christmas, which might explain why I still have all these boxes of Halloween decorations on the shelves in my basement. Halloween is different for me now. Of course, this year, Halloween is different for everybody. Mary! I've always enjoyed Halloween. I dressed up in a costume with our kids every year. That was the year of Merlin the Wizard. I see him! And there was the year of the Big Dog. Oh, they really liked the Big Dog. You get the idea. It may surprise you that for many families, Halloween is the biggest holiday of the year. We do Halloween from about January 1st until Christmas Eve, it seems. <laughs> I dare you to read it. Courtney Opalco and her family set up a big display on their front lawn every year. Well, mostly it's her husband. It's tradition. He and his brothers and his dad work together every summer building new monsters. They put up their monster display early this year. Something we wanted to do for our neighborhood just to bring that extra Halloween spirit this year. Because this year, many typical Halloween traditions are not going to happen because of coronavirus. We decided that we just didn't feel comfortable with trick-or-treating this year, um, just not knowing how that is gonna look at every house. But this year, for sure, there would be no door-to-door -door <laughs> activity um, just to stay safe. But no trick-or-treating doesn't mean no fun. Holidays are big for my family, especially Halloween, so I didn't want to take it away from them. You know, we just have to find an alternative way of, you know, doing it and celebrating. Maybe an opportunity to start some new traditions. For some families, that will mean a quiet night at home. Um, just like a family game night, maybe a movie. Maybe a Halloween movie, but that's about it for us. Some families have already created pods or bubbles for virtual school, and they will celebrate together. We're getting together with another family that's part of our bubble, and the eight of us are going to have um, a costume party, and we're doing an indoor trick-or-treat. Some families will add social distancing and hand sanitizer to their routine, but otherwise try to make Halloween feel normal, which is a challenge. We're still going to go out trick-or-treating. Um, of course, we're going to be safe. It's not that I'm saying don't worry about it, because it is something real, and it does need to be paid attention to. But I just want my kids to be kids. They've lost a lot this year. The bottom line is, however you choose to celebrate Halloween with your family, do it safely, right? Right. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4.